everyone, it's Marie here from Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to make a paper crafting ornament. I'll be using my Silhouette Cameo machine. This is the mat I'll be using. I've got a piece of um, Whisper White um, Stampin' Up cardstock here that I'm going to be using for this. I may cut it down to A6 or I may cut it, uh, leave it at A5. I'll see how I go uh, when I design it. So I will go through that with you as well. Um, I'll be using a piece of um, acetate and I've got some silver foil cardstock. So the silver foil cardstock I got from Officeworks, it's this one, it's um, foil board A4 size elephant. Um, I will link if I can find it in the description box below or I will find something similar and link that for you. I'm also using, and again, this is from Creative Fabric, uh, sorry, from Officeworks. But again, um, if I can't find it there, I will link it as something similar for you. Um, and this is just binding clear covers. Um, they're quite thick, so I've just got a piece of um, some painter's tape there so I can see exactly what I'm doing. So these are the things that I'll be using to make the ornament. So to start off with, I'm just going to take off the cover for this um, but before I do that I've got to print this out on my printer so what I'll be doing is I'll put, be putting it through the printer I'll come back and then I'll, we will put it onto this mat and I'll cut it out with the silhouette so I'll see you again shortly okay so I am now in my silhouette studio business edition software and I'm going to make the ornament in here so this is why I love uh, creative fabric is so much and why I love using my silhouette studio software so much is because the flexibility and the possibilities of what you can create are absolutely endless so today I thought it would be fun to make a Christmas ornament um, that you can attach onto a card as I said earlier and this software will make this 10 times easier for mass producing and the like so what we're going to do is i'm going to get a couple of files that i downloaded from creative fabrica if you're interested in the images and the files that i'm using you are able to click on my links below in the description box and i will be, they will be there for you to see so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press merge and I'm going to open up, I've got a couple of files here with a Santa, stained glass Santa, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is I am going to click on this one and I'm going to press OK and it'll come up here and it looks like a beautiful stained glass. So I'm going to put that to the side and just reduce the size because it is a little large. And then what I'm going to do is go back to file into merge and I'm going to go into my downloads and I'm going to look at my ornament shape earrings. Now these are earrings, but I'm going to use them as Christmas ornaments. So I'm going to press on this one and press OK. Press on ornament. Oops. And then press OK. And I will go into this PNG file here. And I'm going to press OK and it'll come up here. So the ornament that I'm thinking of using is going to be this one. So what I'm going to do is release compound path. And as you can see here, that little circle comes off. So we need to go back and we're going to group these together, but I'm going to make it a compound path. So I'm going to leave that to the side. Then I'm going to select all the rest of the ornaments. But seriously, the possibilities are endless with what you can create with this. And I love these shapes. So what I'm going to do is just uh, delete all of these because I don't need them. And also what comes with this is as a separate file from the same creator is an outline image. And I want to use that. So I'm going to go back into my downloads. And it says Christmas ornament outline shape earrings but of course I'm going to use them as an ornament I'm going to press on that and press on this and we have now if when I increase it you have the ornament uh, outlines 
So again, with these, I'm going to right click because it's already highlighted to release compound path. And as I did before, I'm going to select the little circle and the outline, press right click on my mouse and make a compound path. And then I'll just move this across. And of course you can size this to be whatever you want. And now I'm just going to select all of the rest of the ornaments that I don't need and delete. Now, what I'm going to do with this is, with this here, I'm going to um, use vellum because you can see from both sides that it'll look, look quite beautiful. But what I want to do is I want to size this at three and a half inches. I think it'll look nice as a, that size. Okay, and I'll do that one at three, oops, three and a half inches as well. So go back up here where we leave that locked so that it's in proportion and do three and a half inches. So when you go across here, it works out well. Okay, so now with this image here, what I want to do is size it down to um, three. 0.25 and then I'm going to stick that so I bring to front when that happens that's too much this is three and a half including that so I didn't take that into account so maybe I'll just go 3.0 inches oops and put that on here I think maybe we should go a bit smaller. So I'm just going to do this manually here and I'll increase the magnification there so you can see that a little better. And I'm just going to go down. And then what I'm going to do is press center, which goes here. No, it won't work there. But I look at that, make that go down. And you can shift it around so it suits. Maybe I'll go down a little bit more. Maybe I'll make it into a full circle. So let's put 3.0. So that fits better onto the ornament 3.0. Okay, lock it in. Now I'm going to put 2.80 make that smaller so now it's a full circle and we're going to position that in that so what I want to do with that is make this a print and cut so for this color here I'm going to make it go white okay and that way I'll just, what I'll do is I'll press, go on the side here and weld. Nope, <laughs> that didn't work out. Forget that. So I'll just, just kind of paste it on there. So I'll make this go up a little more, make it look more, yeah, more centered. Okay, and so when I put this on top, so I say bring to front, I'm going to cut two of these, and this will be silver, and this will just attach over the top of that. So I'll make that look silver on here so I know what I'm cutting. And I think that will look really pretty. So I'm going to cut two of those. So I'm going to duplicate that one, and then I'm going to flip it horizontally. So that's now we'll go to the back. Okay. So you've got the, that one there and that one there. So this one I'll just group. Okay. So when I go to cut this and print and cut this, I have to be very careful here. When I go to print and cut this, I'll go into the send panel so you can see what I'm doing here. And as you can see that there's, um, two kinds of lines so what I'll do is I'll pick I'll just say cut edge and then what happens is only the outside of this will get cut as you can see 
So when I go back to my design, I'm going to put on my um, page set up here and I'm going to change it to A6 because I can have a smaller piece of cardstock there. And I'm going to turn on the registration marks, which is over here. I'll press on and then I will make the thickness go a little bit and the insert go, uh, let's see, the inserts back. I'll go to advanced options here and the bottom insert I can go up a little bit. So you can change where you get those registration marks so that you can see um you can maximize your paper so as we're living in a cost you know cost of living crisis at the moment um this will be very handy so this is now going to be that area here i might ungroup it go back to the send panel that should be fine go back to design and i'll group it all again just wanted to make sure that I didn't, that I won't cut the middle of that off. So I'll just go back to group. Okay. So I'm going to get some silver foil um, cardstock here. I'm going to cut these two out. Um, and then what I will do now is I will go through my printer and I'll do a print and cut. But actually, rather than doing it on vellum, I'm going to duplicate this so I will increase my size of my, um, I'll go A5 so that way I can fit two of them. I'm going to duplicate and then I'm going to flip it horizontally. So this will be the front and the back. So kind of like what we did with these two, front and back. So then when we put these together, you will have the ornament looking front and back. I'm going to try and locate some glossy cardstock to cut this out. Um, if I can't get the glossy cardstock, I will, um, what I'll do instead is cut two transparencies to go over the top. So what I'll do is I'll duplicate this. ungroup it, get rid of this. So that's this side, yep. And then I'll get another one, I'll duplicate it. And then for this one, I'm going to flip it horizontally. And then that way I have two transparencies to put over the top of these. So I'll just push this one here. And this one here so I know then what I need to do let's see if I can fit it on an A6 because I'm a little bit frugal these days and with the registration marks go back to the advanced options here and I'll go down the bottom and no I'll need to use A5 not a problem I'll use A5 so I'll go back to my media size to be A5. And then I'm going to show the cut border so I know where, where it's going to print and cut. So I'll put that up here and this here. And I will make my insert go up a little. Um, go down to there, go to the bottom insert, make it go up a little. And that way I can maximize my cardstock as well. Because these bits here can also be handy for sentiments, stamping other images, cutting them out again and so forth. So what I'll do next is I'll be um, going to my printer, doing a print and cut. And then I will go to the silhouette and we will cut all of this out. So I'll see you again shortly. Okay, so now I have printed this out. And isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Um, printer did a great job. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off the cover for the mat, the protective sheet cover, 
and now I'm just going to place my uh, printed sheet, print and cut sheet here of cardstock. Make sure it is within the lines, it has to be exactly so, otherwise it doesn't register very well. So you've got to make sure you're within those lines. So try not to come touch any of the printed images, especially the registration marks and your image as well. Make sure it's firmly onto the mat. Okay. And I'm going to bring these along too and we're going to cut these out on the silhouette. So I'll see you again shortly and you'll see these being cut out on the silhouette. So I have now loaded my mat with this on and we're going to cut this. So I'll just uh, press send on my computer and it'll start cutting. already tell that it has cut through so I'm now going to release my um, mat and I'll take you back to the crafter so you can have a look. So now I have the silver foil cardstock in here I'm going to use the exact same settings of um, textured heavy cardstock and I'm just Okay, so I can already tell this is cut through. So um, once I finish all the cutting, and even with the uh, uh, acetate, I won't show that part, but because it'll be so clear, you won't be able to see it anyway. I'll take you to the craft desk once the cutting is all finished, and we'll put this ornament together then. Okay, so I'll see you again shortly. Okay, so I now have all the bits and pieces cut off. I'm leaving this on the mat so I know exactly where it is. I'll show you that in a minute. So these are now the ornaments cut out. So that's how that looks like that. Now with this, um, I did mirror the image. I didn't really have to, but I did. Because what I wanted to do, so as you can see, one side is this way, one side is that way. Because when I put it together, this looks like it's reflecting from the back as well. So, so that looks like that. So that's what I've done here. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to stick these together with some PVA glue. So I'm just going to put just a, a, a small amount on the edges of that. And then they're going to go together like so. Just make sure that they're stuck together perfectly fine and they cut accurately which I'm very impressed with and I love how easy print and cut is with uh, my machine very very easy okay so that's that bit done and then we have our two foil pieces which will go over the top and I did mirror one of them so I've got to make sure that I put them in correctly so I think this one goes at the back, like so. Yep. So that one goes on the back, and this one goes on the front here, or the back part, whatever you want it to be. So it goes like that. So they fit perfectly. I'm going to keep them on here, because then I'm going to get out, and we keep these for another project them to the side and here is the silhouette cutting you won't be able to see this but it has cut perfectly you can see it here like that on the acetate so that's one cut off move that there and that's the second one cut off perfectly and get rid of any uh, holes here yep all done so I'm going to put the cover on to make sure that I don't get any extra bits and pieces on this mat make sure it's nice and clean and I'll do it better later off camera 
So what I want to do now is match up my pieces to make sure it's properly. So I'd say this one's the front. Just make sure it matches up perfectly. So it looks like stained glass. I think that's the wrong one. So that's this one here I have to do. That one. Okay, that one matches up perfectly. Make sure. Yes, so for this, this part here, put that over there so I don't mix it up. I'm going to use my ATG um, tape. Second, I'll just make sure I clean that from debris. Just going to give it a wipe on my shirt. Want it to be crystal clear. You could use rubbing alcohol to put over the top to clean it, but this will suffice. It's actually quite clear. So now I'm going to put this very carefully. I'm going to line it up here. This is really tricky when you're dealing with clear things <laughs> like acetate. And I'm just going to clean up the adhesive of that. So you can see that now. Looks like that. Cool, right? And then I'm going to do the other one. And I'll do the same thing with the adhesive. I have adhesive on the front, but never mind. Okay, so now I'm going to stick this on from here. Okay, and so I'm going to clean the adhesive off. And then I'll come back again so I don't bore you with that part. So I'll see you shortly. Finished cleaning the uh, acetate so it looks nice and clean now. Um, it's, it's a little wet because I did use a little bit of rubbing alcohol to make sure I get rid of bits and pieces. And I just noticed there's some bits and pieces here that I didn't get rid of. So I'm going to use that very quickly. And uh, that should be it. So I'm just going to give it a wipe on me. <laughs> All right. So these are the two acetate pieces now with the foil on the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to match these up to my image. Make sure they are dry and free of lint. I'm just giving it a wipe on me for a second just to ensure that everything's okay. All right. There's little bits here that I didn't get from the sides. <laughs> okay. So I'll just make sure I match this up correctly. And this is on the other side. So that matches up perfectly. So I'm going to now um, put some acetate on here again. I'll now match it up with this side. So now this side is done. Isn't that gorgeous? We'll do the other side. Ornament. And match that all up. Okay. 
and now this is all matched up. Now just get rid of the adhesive on the side and just clean it up a little and then I'll show you again a close up of how it looks. So here is the finished ornament with all of the adhesive taken off. So that's how it looks from front and back. So that's the front and that's the back and the reason why I did that mirror image is so that it looks like it's a reflection of the actual thing. So it looks like that and like that. So how amazing is Creative Fabrica right here? Um, you can get images like this, you don't even have to know how to draw and then you just cut it out and you can make that into even, if you like, a tumbler, you can put it on a bag, a tote bag, you can use it on a mug, I think I said that before, um, anything you like. Um, so the possibilities with these kinds of files are endless. This is a nice high quality PNG file or a JPEG file in this case and the PNG file this was meant to be an earrings you know to create Christmas earrings but you can also create Christmas ornaments make these any size you like so the possibilities really are endless when it comes to digital files and using your Silhouette Cameo machine in my case or you can even use your Cricut and do the same thing um, manipulate the size use different kinds of materials possibilities endless 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 so I highly recommend getting into this type of craft if you haven't already it is so much fun and as I said it's hard to get bored with stuff like that too so next video I'm hoping to make a card with this featuring this ornament I will even put a ribbon on there and things so I'm gonna have a little think about that before I make a card and um, and I think that it will look a, you know it'll have a dual purpose so it'll be very nice to have a card and an ornament that someone can use and um, remember you by too so here's another close-up of it and it looks like it's stained glass and then on the other side so thank you all so much for watching and persevering with me um, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask. I'll get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Thanks again, and I'll see you again next time. Bye, everyone.